So, um, as I mentioned in my prayer request, I'm in the process of trying to find my brother's new home. And some of you know that I've been going through, going through some stuff. The last two months have been a lot of stress. Um, I went and had my yearly checkup at my doctor's office and we got to talking about stress. And, you know, I, I was thinking about all the mental things that stress do for myself, but I wasn't thinking about the physical aspects of it. And, and the doctor kind of helped me put two and two together, like, you're feeling this way because it sounds like you're under a lot of stress. And so it got me thinking about stress. It's such a human thing, right? We've heard, all heard that stress is like the number one thing that kills humans, right? Because it triggers these, all these other ailments in us. And I thought, well, stress is, is what triggers our anxiety, our fight and flight mode, puts us in that survivor mode. And that's kind of how I've been feeling the last two months. It's like I almost forgot everything I've learned over the last few years. And I just kind of, uh, you know, looking at the title for today's uh, talk, I was thinking how it's like the ghost of the old me has been visiting me lately. <laughs> yeah. And it's been, uh, you know, talking in my ear a lot and uh, saying, yeah, this is hard. And you've never done this before. And you're not going to be able to handle this. And, you know, and you're, everybody's counting on you. And you're going to mess this up. And, you know, then what? Then how are you going to fix it? And so all these little voices whispering in my ear, and I started thinking, that's, that's old me, that's how I used to think. But that's not who I am now. I, I have an understanding, I've learned so much over the last couple of years. So then, of course, I went through the process of kind of beating myself up. Why are you thinking this way? You know better. <laughs> what the heck's wrong with you? You, know? you are a spiritual being, you are a being of light, you know? And, and I think, well, you know, throughout my life, I've always been a person that tries to plan for the worst, plan ahead, prepare. Uh, that way I can handle anything that comes my way. You know, I think a lot of that comes from my childhood. I grew up having a lot of surgeries and having to go through long recoveries and having to convince myself, it's okay, it's temporary, you're going to get through this, prepare for the worst kind of thing. And I was like, so when I was thinking about this informational moment, I was thinking with everything I've been going on through lately, what if I started thinking about what if the best thing happened? Preparing for the best thing to happen. Well, that's a totally different way, and I've never thought like that before. How do you prepare for the best thing to happen instead of the worst thing to happen? Well, with changing your perspective, right? Thinking about all the good things that could go on. You know, thinking about all the wonderful things that could come out of this situation. And so that's how I've been doing lately. I've been trying to change my perspective. I've been trying to remember who I am and that the divine one's always got my back. Mm -hmm. And then I have to trust, I have to let go. I gotta quit trying to control it all, make it all better and fix it all myself. Because I don't have to. I don't, I don't have to do that. I can hand it all over to the divine and trust and know that everything that's supposed to happen is gonna happen. And I can stop beating myself up about it and I can let go of some of that stress because that's part of the letting go, right? The trusting is releasing that stress that comes with it as well and knowing it's going to be okay like really believing inside it's going to be okay and so that's that's why i'm i'm switched my gears i told that ghost to go away <laughs> go back to where you came from you know because that is not who i am anymore i know who i am and i believe that the divine has always got my back my angels my guides are always there for me so I've been talking to them a lot more lately too, like, hey guys, I'm sorry I've been <laughs> ignoring you, but here I am and I need your help. So I encourage you to prepare for the best to happen, to remember who you are, and don't let stress get the best of you. It's a human response, but you're way more than a human, so remember that. <laughs>